Hey, Liam, Josh, uh, Tolentino from The Athletic. Congratulations, man. Um, could you just express, uh, I guess, what you're feeling right now? And also, it was kind of a unique way of how the Dolphins, um, you know, moved around in the round to, to be able to get you. So, you know, that probably says something that they really wanted you um, there with that pick. How are you feeling, man? Yeah, I'm doing well. You know, I'm very excited to be here with my family my grandparents, um, family and friends. You know, I'm very excited to be part of the Miami Dolphins. You know, it's a great organization, you know, great coaching staff. And, you know, I've, I've been able to meet a couple of their players and, you know, they, they carry themselves well. So I'm, I'm very excited. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Adam? Sorry, I couldn't get myself unmuted. Uh, first of all, congratulations and welcome to Miami. I'm curious, do the Dolphins give any kind of hint as to where you'll play uh, in 2021? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure right now, you know, I'll, I'll play anywhere they need me. Uh, for me, it's about helping the team win. So, you know, I, I look forward to getting down there and, you know, I mean, they can put me at center they can put me wherever, you know, it's kind of, um, wherever they want me. I'm just very fortunate to be part of the team. Do you, do you have experience playing center? Uh, no, I don't No. Travis. Hey, Liam, congratulations and welcome to Miami. You know, you follow a pretty long line of impressive offensive linemen in that pedigree at Notre Dame there. Uh, what does it mean to you to be the next one in line there? And how do you think that position at that program prepared you for professional football? Yeah, you know, it's it's a, it's an honor, you know, and I'm, I'm very thankful for, for the Dolphins organization for picking me. Um, you know, the guys that have come before me, you know, they, they've set the standard. You know, I've tried to carry that on. Um, you know, moving forward, it's, it's not about where you get drafted. It's about how long you play for and if you play well. So, you know, from here on out, you know, and I mean, it was my mindset, this whole process is, you know, I want to help my team win. You know, I want to be consistent. So, you know, from here on out, I'm just, I'm just going to learn the playbook best I can, you know, get everything down and, you know, help my team win. And if I could follow up on that, Liam, uh, 38 consecutive starts there at Notre Dame, didn't miss one. I read that you played through a game last year with a swollen shut eyeball. What was that like? Yeah, that was a little tough. You know, I, uh, I, there's a lot of ice on it when I came off the field, but uh, yeah, it was one shot. I mean, I, I had to help my team win, you know, had to be out there. Cam? Hey, Liam, what's up, man? Uh, Cam Wolf here from ESPN. Welcome to Miami. Uh, yeah, thank you. I know you played a lot of left tackle at Notre Dame. I, I heard one offensive lineman compare switching to the right side to wiping your butt with your other hand. How much uh, comfort would you have if you were needed to uh, – switch over to that side and play on the right side? You know, it's kind of what uh, I talked about before. Um, you know, wherever the team needs me, I'm, I'm willing to do it. And, I mean, I'm going to give it my all. So, um, yes, I have played left tackle in the past. But, I mean, wherever the team needs me, you know, I'll figure it out. I, I have the work ethic. I have the attitude, you know, the technique for it. So, I'm looking forward to it wherever they need me. Salvin? I had to wipe my butt with my left hand, I'd, I'd give it my all as well. Um, Liam, I wanted to ask you, um, I saw on your on your Notre Dame profile, you had 33 straight games without a sack. Um, I guess what happened the game before that, but but really how does one, uh, um, you know, go that long without giving up a sack? What, what goes into that? You know, I think I, uh, I had a quarterback that can move, but, uh, you know, I, I think it goes back to your technique and fundamentals. You know, I, I think I've had a great opportunity at Notre Dame to be coached well by, you know, both coaches, Coach Heesand and, you know, Coach Quinn. I'm looking forward to being coached by Coach Lem. Um, you know, he worked with me a little bit at Pro Day, and I'm, I mean, I was extremely excited. And, you know, I'm very fortunate to be in this position. Joe? Hey, Liam. Uh, congratulations on being drafted. That was Josh Sitton, the Pro Bowl guard, who had that comment about well, you know, the thing that the other guy has mentioned. You got Will Fuller here. You got Dorham Smythe. Um, Sam Young used to be here. I don't know if, you, if he's, he's a little bit before your time. So some, some Irishmen. Have you spoken to any of those Irish, uh, former Irishmen, Fuller or, uh, or Smythe? Uh, no, not yet, but I, I'm sure I will. I just, uh, since we didn't have a combine and I didn't get to interview with the combine, just in general, how would you describe your strengths? Yeah, you know, I, I think I'm very efficient um, with my footwork in the run game. And then in pass pro, I think, you know, I, I have violent hands and I'm also, um, you know, I'm very good at vertical setting. So, you know, I think I bring a lot to, uh, you know, this organization. So I'm very excited for it. Cam? 
Hey, Liam, you, you mentioned, uh, I guess, at the top of the call that you had known a couple of Dolphins before. Um, who were those guys? And, you know, how does that kind of help having a couple guys you already know? Yeah, you know, I was talking about Durham Smythe, and then I met uh, Austin Jackson out in uh, when I was out in Phoenix training. And, you know, it's just kind of that idea that, you know, this team has a great culture. You know, there's there's very disciplined, and, you know, they have that same mindset. Everybody has the same mindset, you know, that, that they want to help their team win. So, you know, I, I loved it. You know, I, I think it's it's about the team. You know, the team's first. So I'm, I'm excited for it. Stopping. William, you spoke about your um, kind of connection with Coach Lamb during your pro day. Um, what was it like working with him? What did you kind of glean from that first interaction? And, and, and do you think it's a result of you being drafted here? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I, th I think it's from, you know, everybody I've spoken to. Um, you know, I think they it's a great organization. You know, they carry themselves well. Um, but definitely, you know, the offensive line, you know, I mean, he's going to be my coach. And I think, you know, I made a good impression. And, I mean, he made a great impression on me. You know, he's a guy who's, you know, he's down to earth. He cares about his players and he loves ball. And, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm just fortunate that I'm going to be coached by him. Cam? Hey, Liam, every uh, offensive lineman has to get to know his quarterback well. Uh, what what do you know about Tua? Um, you know, and I guess just what do you know about Tua? Uh, I know he's a lefty. Um, I know he played at Bama. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a great player. So I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting him. Josh? Hey, Liam. Uh, I mean, yeah, in, in addition to Cam's question, you know, um, you played with Myron, uh, to his cousin there um, at Notre Dame. Did uh, he ever, um, you know, share any Hawaiian food with you or anything? Because, you know, Tua has been known to, you know, get packages and stuff for his offensive linemen down here, uh, you know, during his rookie season. Uh, no, unfortunately, I didn't. You know, I kind of uh, – I never <laughs> never really saw Myron outside of the, the facility that much. And I think it was just because I kind of – we try to keep the offensive line tight. You know, we hung out with the defensive line, but, you know, we just ran in different groups. But, you know, Myron's a great guy. Um, you know, he comes from a great family. So, you know, if two is very similar to Myron, I think, you know, he'll be a great guy. Uh, 